Hi, I'm Michael DeRoy, Vice President of Applications at EPC. And today we're going to talk about all the wireless power applications that we have worked on over the past few years. And we have a wide range of capabilities as well as many customer applications. Let's take a look. Over here, we have our uh, Class 3 air fuel standard demonstration product. The air fuel standard is the loosely coupled, highly resonant system that operates at 6.78 megahertz. This particular model can easily handle more than one device simultaneously. Here we have two category three devices, each rated at six and a half watts. On this smaller model, we have a class two compatible system rated at 10 watts and is running one category three device. Then at the bottom here, we have our largest model, which is the class four capable of 33 watts, and it can operate many devices, even of different power levels. In this example, we have a category four device that is capable of 13 watts, together with a category three device capable of six and a half watts. EPC is proud to announce our first single source multi-mode wireless power capable system that can operate to both the highly resonant air fuel standard and the low frequency inductive standard of the wireless power consortium, the Qi standard. In this demonstration, right now, it is operating to the Qi standard, the lower frequency, and we can simply take off this unit. You can see the low frequency coil beneath it. We switch it over to the new standard, swap out the receiver for the A4WP standard, turn on the receiver and you can see now it's charging to the highly resonant standard. Several of EPC's customers have adopted the uh, EGAN technology to help enable their wireless products. We have an example here from Gill Electronics using the EGAN FET for their highly wi resonant wireless power system as demonstrated here. Over here we have a system from Solus Power that uses electric fields to establish wireless power transfer operating at 13 and a half megahertz. And at the bottom here, we have two examples of two customers that are using the EGAN FETs for wireless power transfer in a multi-mode capable system. In this case, the unit is operating to the air fuel standard. I can simply take it off and replace it with a second adapter that runs to the Qi standard and we just simply carry on operating. Here we have another example of wireless charging using the highly resonant, loosely coupled system. In this case, we have a 30 watt capable system that can be used to charge small laptops. As you can see here, the diagnostic system is running and it's empty. As I take the laptop and I place it on, you will see that it turns on the, the uh, laptop, it starts to charge, and the diagnostic system indicates that. Here we have another example of where wireless power is implemented in a practical application. In this case, we have an auto console that can be used to charge a wireless uh, enabled phone. In this case, this LED puck represents a phone and we can place it anywhere along here and show you that the system is trying to detect a phone that we place here ready for charging. Here we have another example of wireless power being implemented in an e-field based wireless charging system for a drone. This one was made by Solus Power and you can see here this very small little amplifier is capable of operating up to 30 watts and, and switching at 13 and a half megahertz and charging the drone. Let's take a look and see how that works. As you can see, this drone can maximize its airtime now because it's able to come back, recharge and carry on doing more tasks and making it much more useful. In this example, we have our lowest bill of material cost wireless power solution. It is a differential mode Class E amplifier that is fully compliant with the Class E air fuel standard. As you can see, this very simple circuit has very few components to it. The convenience and safety of wireless charging in an ever-growing battery-powered devices environment of today is accelerating the adoption of this technology. Over the past few years, we have seen an array of applications and continue expanding. The technology is evolving rapidly and we are on our second edition of a wireless power handbook. Today we have shown how EGAN FETs can make wireless power systems more efficient from low power to high power applications. We've showed examples of custom implementations that are taking advantage of this technology. For more information or to purchase a demo board, please visit us at www.epc-co.com.